Hey guys, it's Mike Nardi here. In this video, I'm doing another Fiverr seller interview. If you haven't caught the first interview in this video series, I did it a few weeks ago with a voice actor named Wayne. He was awesome. You should check that video out if you're looking for more, more insights from other Fiverr sellers. In this video, I'm actually interviewing a really good friend of mine. His name is Hussein, and when I started this YouTube channel, he reached out to me because he was interested in making some extra money on the side. So this is gonna be an awesome example of someone who got started as a Fiverr seller, looking to make some extra cash for him and his family. And Hussein was actually able to start generating, you know, really good amounts of money within a couple of months of getting started. It was awesome. So the interview is gonna be great. If you're new to this channel, make sure you're subscribing and liking the video. Let's get into it. All right, so question number one. Hussein, tell me about yourself. Who are you and what services did you sell on Fiverr? Yo, all right. Uh, I was listed on Fiverr under the name Hussein Shirazi. Um, I offered services primarily focused around writing um, email copy for businesses trying to uh, increase sales, but um, also offered uh, sales consulting and ancillary services. Um, I was on Fiverr for the back half of 2019. Question number two. Tell us a fun fact about yourself. Uh, my wife and I are uh, new parents. We have a uh, six-month-old baby at home, which is which is really exciting. Question number three: What do you love most about Fiverr? Um, so, as a salesperson, the most difficult and challenging part of the sale can be around generating um, the initial interest and education of a client or customer. Uh, what's great about Fiverr is you're dealing solely with you know, inbound inquiries for services specifically that you offer. So that's, you know, really helpful. Question number four, did you have any relevant work experience before getting started as a Fiverr seller? Uh, yes, I had 10 years of sales experience across a, a couple of different industries um, and a number of verticals before starting as a, as a Fiverr seller. Question number five. Is Fiverr your primary source of income or did you have any you know, hopes of it becoming your primary source of income? So uh, Fiverr was not my primary source of income for the duration that I that I did it. Um, however, it, it supported my family tremendously, um, especially as my wife entered uh, maternity leave from, from her work. So question number six doesn't really apply to you, but the question is, how long did it take you to become a top rated seller? You know, since you only worked on Fiverr short term, you know, less than six months, why don't you tell us a little bit about your seller levels and your experience with that? Um, so I was never actually a, a top rated seller. The, the, uh, I was a, a, a level one seller for the duration that I was on Fiverr. Question number seven. What was the most common mistake you were making in the early days of your Fiverr selling career? Um, I was very fortunate to have had some guidance from, from you, Mike, uh, in terms of you know getting value from the lessons that uh, you had learned early on. So I'd say that, uh, you know, honestly, my, my start uh, into into fiber and freelancing in general was actually a lot easier and, and smoother and simpler than, than I had initially anticipated. So uh, kudos to you for that. Question number eight, what has changed most in your day to day as you grew as a fiber seller? You know, as you started accumulating more and more ratings and more orders, what did you notice was happening and what changed? Um, while I never entered uh, level two and top rated seller status, um, I can tell you that the level of interest from buyers increased tremendously um, and my exposure grew significantly as I continue to gain experience and uh, rack up, uh, you know, five star reviews. So um, I can only imagine had I uh, chosen to stay on the path that, you know, as a, as a level two or, you know, top rated seller that would have continued to uh, scale at the same rate. Question number nine, what is the biggest tip, you know, financial monetary tip that you received from a buyer after completing an order on Fiverr? Um, I received a $40 tip from somebody um, seeking a, a five email sales cadence um, based on an early delivery that, that I did. Um, this was in my early days. It really helped me boost my, my confidence um, and also get a five star review, which, which obviously is, is critical. Um, as you as you start to, to sort of um, you know begin your freelance business. Question number ten: What advice would you give to anyone thinking about starting selling on Fiverr but just hasn't taken the plunge yet? I think this is going to be a big one for a lot of people who are on the fence. I would say that if you have a skill or a set of skills that are you know especially marketable, there's absolutely no reason that you shouldn't invest in you know, maybe even just one or two hours a week in creating 
uh, personal brand and image to see what sort of traction you might get in uh, in an open marketplace like Fiverr. Question number 11. In your opinion, what are the most lucrative Fiverr seller categories to offer services on? Um, unfortunately, it's been, you know, it's been a little while since I've, you know, been tuned into Fiverr. Um, so it's difficult for me to answer the question directly. But, you know, I, I will say in general, uh, I would say the rarer and more unique your talents are and the more varied your experiences, um, you know, the more in demand you'll you'll be as a professional. I think I think that's just a you know general rule to sort of live by. So um, if there's something you're really, really good at and there's a marketplace for it and it's it's unique and you have you know, a variety of experience, I think you'll be tremendously successful. And question number 12, this is the million dollar question. What advice would you give to new sellers who are having trouble getting their first couple of orders? I know this is the biggest challenge a lot of new sellers face. So, so what's your advice and feedback on this one? Um, you know, I, I would say my experience certainly would, it would make sense to lean on uh, more experienced sellers who've already sort of paid their dues and, and done some of the uh, heavy lifting to help from a freelancing perspective. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a variety of ways in which you can collaborate and, and gain advice from people that are in sort of this, you know, gig economy. So um, I think as long as obviously you're not you're not competing directly with, uh, with the person, um, you know, feel free to reach out to people directly and ask them their opinion on, on certain things. I'm sure... I'm sure they'll be happy to help. So, um, you know, hope that was helpful. All right, Hussein, thank you so much for taking the time to do this with us. You know, I, I loved helping you and watching you, you know, start out as a Fiverr seller. And, you know, it makes me happy to hear that, you know, these videos are actually helpful and can help people make money. So thank you so much for taking the time to answer these questions. And for anyone else watching this video, Hussein and I specialize in copywriting services. We focused on email content writing. So if you're interested in going down that path and giving that a shot to try to replicate some of the successes we've been able to have, I'll put a link to a tutorial I put out a few weeks ago. It talks about how you can go from having no experience to making $3,000 per month as a copywriter on Fiverr. So thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. I try my best to put out videos once a week to help other Fiverr sellers make more money on the platform and become better sellers. Thanks again. Cheers.